Hello my dear kids, welcome back. Today we are going to learn about money. Let's get started. In class 2, you have learned about Indian money. Indian money is called rupees and paise. We have learned the symbol of rupees and paise. We need money to buy things from the market. We all have seen coins and notes. Generally, coins are found in the denominations of 25 paise, 50 paise, 1 rupee, 2 rupee, etc. Notes are found in the denominations of 1 rupee, 5 rupee, 10 rupee, 20 rupees, 50 rupees, etc. To express an amount of money in short form, we put a dot to separate rupees and paise. The number on the left side of the dot represents rupees and the number on the right side of the dot represents paise. It's important to note that we always write paise as a two digit number. 10 rupees 5 paise we have written as rupees 10 dot 0 5. 10 rupees 50 paise written as rupees 10 dot 50. In class 2, we have learnt the addition and subtraction of money. To add rupees and paise, arrange them in column form and add as whole numbers. To subtract rupees and paise, arrange them in column form and subtract as whole numbers. Here, we are going to lay the multiplication and division of money. Multiplication of rupees and paise by a number is done like multiplication of numbers. If the amount is expressed in short form in the product, a dot is put after two places from the right. Let's multiply 216 rupees by 3. We multiply 216 by 3 as numbers. We will get 648. So the answer is 648 rupees. Let's multiply 12 rupees 55 paise by 6. First we do the multiplication. We will get 7530. Then we put a dot after two places from the right. We get 75.30. So the product is 75 rupees 30 paise. Let's see how to divide the rupees. Division of rupees and paise by a number is done like division of a number by a number. Divide 98 rupees by 7. We divide 98 by 7. We will get 14. So after dividing 98 rupees by 7, we will get 14 rupees. Like that, we can divide 972 rupees by 9. Let's divide 972 by 9. We will get the quotient 108. So the answer is 108 rupees. Hope you understand today's session. With a different topic, we will meet you in the next session. I wish all of you a happy learning.